Aim to find the acceleration due to gravity by measuring the variation in time period t with effective length L of simple pendulum or to determine the acceleration due to gravity at a place using simple pendulum and calculate the percentage error in acceleration due to gravity value yeah. to calculate the length of the second pendulum from I L versus T square graph. Apparatus required stopwatch, vernier caliper, metallic bob, beta scale, stand and thread roll. First we have to find the diameter of the spherical bob. Check for the reading of the vernier caliper. Not a, the length of the the length of the hook is see so the length of the hook is one centimeter. Not tie the one end of the hook with thread. Tie the one end of the hook of hook with the thread. No. We have to adjust the length of the thread in such a way that the total effective length of the pendulum is equal to 80 cm. So length of thread plus length of hook is equal to 80 cm. This one total length is 50 cm. Okay, so the length is 80 cm. For each reading, we have to increase the length of the pendulum by 10 cm and again measure the time for 20 vibration. Repeat this till the length becomes 120 cm. For the oscillation, we will lower it down. Just make it stay. Now you can see one complete oscillation. Start reading its oscillation from here. We will mark it down. We will keep the pen here. Now from here, we will leave it and it will start oscillating. Start the stop clock as the bob reaches the pen. One start. Now we have to calculate the time for the 20 vibration. See one, two, three. Like this, we have to calculate the time for the 20 vibration. Now this is